In the fourth century BC, philosophers such as Aristotle believed earthquakes were caused by Poseidon, god of the sea, or it was Mother Earth in protest against men who mined ore. From empirical study, we now agree that there are two types of earthquakes, volcanic and tectonic. It is Mother Earth dynamically readjusting to internal plate forces of uplift or subsidence, meaning deformation of the Earth crust. This phenomenon was rationalized by H.F. Reed in 1906 as the elastic rebound theory. It claims that crustal deformation will accumulate enormous stress and strain forces until a sudden release as a slippage along a fault plane. The fault zone will shake and slip back to an unstrained setting which initiates crustal vibrations. In measurements across the San Andreas Fault, the U.S. Geological Survey show that the same type of strain is accumulating at a uniform rate. Namely, the coastal western tectonic plate is moving northward relative to the eastern side at the rate of two inches per year. Given a cycle of 100 years, the deformation energy is now nearly fully stored along this one fault. Beware.